Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the trick to making 310 by 110 ads that look exactly like the POF generated 110 by 80 ads, as well as teach you guys how to start building your own image variations that you can easily and quickly apply to multiple ads for testing. So why would you want to make 310 by 110 ads that look exactly like 110 by 80s? Well, it's so that you can make tweaks to your 110 by 80 ads. Imagine three 110 by 80 ads on a page, but yours is the only one with a thin green border around it. It's going to stand out. For our demonstrations today, I'm going to rely heavily on Photoshop's batch processing capabilities. If you haven't watched our tutorial on batch processing, please do so now and come back to this video. Now let's get started. First, we're going to go into our POF accounts manage creatives area. You can click on any of your campaigns to get here. We're going to use this creative preview area to generate our template for the 310 by 80 ad we're going to create. So we're just going to fill out the title and description. And I've prepared them already. So in the creative preview area, you can see that this is how your ad would look once you've uploaded your 110 by 80 image here. Now we're just going to print screen and use this as a template to insert our images in but we're gonna save them as 310 by 110 ads. So let's go back to Photoshop, make a new document, paste in our screenshot. Let's zoom into our image here. And we're gonna use our rectangular marquee, but select the style as fixed ratio. And I've already got it as 310 by 110. And we're just gonna make our selection like so. And then we're going to crop. Let's take this image placeholder out. Oops, I've got to change the style back to normal. And then let's select this image placeholder and delete it. Let's make a layer below our current layer and fill it white. So now we've created a template for our 310 by 110 ads in the same style as the 110 by 80 ads that POF generates with our own custom headline and body. Let's save this file as a template. I'm going to call it template. Let's exit this and create an action to put in the images. So I'm going to go new action, place images is what I'm going to call it. Click record. And let's open the first image that we're going to apply this to. Let's open this one. What we want our action to do through each loop is open the template. Go back to the image. Select all. Copy. Paste. And move it into position. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually forgot to resize the template. So let's do that first. Let's open back up the template. Let's resize this to 310 by 110. There we go. Now let's save the template. Let's delete this and start a new action. Place images. Open up our first file. Open our template. Let's go back to our file. Select all, copy, paste, and move it into position. There we go. Now let's save as. Let's save as a JPEG and call it test. Let's close the template. Don't save changes and exit our file. Stop our recording. Let's delete our first open and the last close actions because Photoshop is going to take care of that. Now let's go to File, Automate, Batch. Choose the folder where our original images are. And then choose the folder where we want the finished as to be. And I'm going to name this by four digit serial number and extension. 
Click OK. And we're done. Let's see if it worked. Looks like it did. All the images seem to have placed correctly. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to apply some border variations to those images that we just created. Let's say those six images performed really well with the 110 by 80 ad size in POF. Now I want to test if certain colored borders will have an effect on the performance of those ads. So we're going to create a new action called Add Border Variation. Let's open up one of our newly created 310 by 110 ads. The first thing we want to do is duplicate this background layer so we can edit it. Then the easiest way to add borders is to go to Edit, Stroke. And I'm going to make my borders at 4 pixels. I'm going to choose a color. We're going to do blue. We're going to save that image in this folder called Borders. Then we're going to add green. And we're going to save as in the same folder. And then finally, we're going to do an orange. And then we're going to exit without saving. Stop recording. Same as last time, we're going to delete our open and the last close actions because Photoshop will handle that. So I've just created an action sequence that applies three different colors of borders to any image and creates three variations of that image. Now that I've recorded this action once, I can now use this sequence and apply to any image that I want to test in the future. Let's test this on the six 310 by 110 images that we just made. Let's go to Automate Batch. Folder we want to use is this finished folder containing our original 310 by 110 ads. And for the destination folder, we're going to use this folder called Borders. But before we continue, let's delete the three files that we made in the recording of our action. Since our original files are already in serial numbers, we need to change the file naming so things don't get confusing. I'm going to use document name, which would be the four digit serial number that we created before, plus serial letters, and then finally the extension. Let's see how this works. Let's take a look at the results. And there you have it. Seems like everything came out as expected. Let's look at this set. We got our orange, green, and blue borders. And inside it, we have the exact font, color, and layout of how POF normally shows its internally generated 110 by 80 ads. Now we're able to see if adding a border to our successful 110 by 80 ads actually makes our ads better or worse. Now go out there, make your own image variations, and start testing these little tweaks on your own ads. We'll see you next time.